Before we get into today's video, please remember to vote for Rovers Chat in the Football Content Awards. We've reached the final 10-man shortlist, two years on the bounce. We'd love to make it free. You can vote by going down to the description. You either click the link for Twitter, and it'll create a tweet that you just click post on, or you can go over to the website, the actual Football Content Awards website, which will also be linked down below in the description. Find the Best Club Content Creator section, go to the Football League and put Rovers Chat in, and your vote will be counted towards the vote. Thank you very much for voting for us. Hello and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. I'm sitting down to my preferred exercise as Rovers make the trip down to Watford on Sunday for the 12 o'clock Sky kickoff. We all love being on the Sky, we all love these early set-offs in the week where Rovers are set to travel 1,100 miles or so. I'm sure we're all delighted we're going down to Watford, but it is what it is, we'll have to get on with it. And today I'm just going to look at the preferred XI. Now just remember this is the XI I want to see, not what I think John Dahl will go for, but I've also built this XI in how I think John Dahl will play the game. So there might be a few picks that I'd maybe pick over players, but the way I think we're going to set up and the way I think we're going to try and approach this, this is probably the best XI for me. In that ends the pairs, the obvious pick, I like uh, the idea of bringing Volstead in slowly but surely. I think he'll play at Harrogate on Wednesday, but for now I think it's best to stick with what we know. Let pairs go in there. I know he were a bit dodgy for his position on the second goal, but he made some good saves the other day and I think it would benefit us more at this stage, sticking with the same keeper and then building Volstead into the squad. The back four is the usual without Harry Pickering. So, Joe Rankin's still the right back, Hayden Carter, Dom Hyam and Callum Britton left back. The three that I mentioned at first are obvious picks and Britton comes in as the obvious replacement for Pickering after his red card. I thought Britton actually slotted in quite well. Anyone who watched the Extra Time show, which you can still go and watch it on the channel after the whole game, Oh, no, like I focused on Britain. I'm really impressed with the way he got forward and offered an outlet from left back. So I'd like to see him there again. Midfield two, I'm sticking with the same two as well. Lewis Travis and Adam Morton. I think I mentioned I want not mind seeing study in this game, but I think Adam Morton's passing ability is going to get us out of these pa out of difficult situations. You know, say we're trying to play the ball around like we have been and we're giving it into Adam Morton. He's going to find that pass, whereas I don't think Tronstad or Travis is suited to that. So it'd be a matter of pairing Tronstad with Adam Morton if we did. But I'm going to go for Travis and Adam Morton here. The three and behind the striker, I've gone for Mark Andy, Smodic and Hedges. Now, this in meantime is Dolan comes out for Mark Andy. I think Dolan struggled uh, at the weekend. I think he was, I know he was taken off early, but rightly so, really. I think he struggled in that early patch. I get his impact, etc., but I think he'd be better off the bench. And I think in a game like this, we need Hedges to kind of slow the ball down. I don't think we're going to be hitting them on as much pace. I think we'll need more control on the ball, more quality. So that's the edges out wide. And I think Mark Andy deserves a shot in there. Obviously, we've got to consider the Harrogate game coming up. But I'd like to see them too. And then Smodic's in behind the striker, who I've gone for Sam Gallagher. Now, anyone who watches the channel know how much I love Harry Lennon. But I've picked Gallagher based off how I think we're going to play. I can see Rovers trying to set up a bit similar to Rotherham, where we don't play maybe the threaded through ball as much. You know, I think we're going to try more and play to hold up play, which I think Gallagher does better than Leonard. And then Leonard will come off the bench and try and be in that impact. So whether we're drawing, losing or winning, I think he'll get his chance off the bench to try and show what he can do again. But I think it'll work better having Gallagher against physical centre-backs, Watford are there. Where's he how to scored against us last year? I think he'll give a real physical game. So I think this could be one where you benefit from using Gallagher and using his hold up play uh, rather than using Harry Leonard, who obviously... Don't get me wrong, got all these qualities, but he's not going to hold the ball up as well or be as good in the air. So I think this is where to go. But let us know down below your preferred XI. We'll mention the predicted XI in the match preview, which will come out on Saturday. But until the next video, remember to hit like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And as we said at the start of the video, go and check out the FCAs and go and vote for us on Twitter or on the website. There'll be a full instruction video as well on the YouTube channel later today. But until then, just please go and vote for us using the links in the description. It's all explained there. Help us get to the final 10 again, and hopefully we can win an award. But until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Rovers Chat. Remember to vote for us in the Football Content Awards 2023 by using either the Twitter link in the description to post a tweet, or you can go over to the Football Content Awards website, which will also be linked down below, and put us under the best club content creator for the Football League. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon.